FeedVal 2012 is a decision support tool designed to calculate the actual value of feed ingredients. But what does that mean? Well, your dairy herd's feed ration is made up of many ingredients such as corn, soybean, hay, molasses, oats, etc. You paid a market price to buy each of these ingredients. But is that market price their true value? Feed ingredients contain various nutrients that make up their composition. Each nutrient has its own price per unit. Adding up all of the individual nutrient values of an ingredient gives us the actual price of that ingredient. Therefore, knowing the actual value, we can determine if its market value is overpriced or a bargain. So how does it work? Select the ingredients you want to analyze by checking their box on the left-hand column. You can select all or unselect all by clicking on the main ingredient box here. For today's example, we're going to select shelled corn, soybean meal 44%, good quality hay, blood meal, and wet distillers. Next, select the number of nutrients you also wish to analyze here. You can select between 2 and 13 nutrients, but be sure that the number of nutrients is less than or equal to the number of ingredients you just selected. Also make sure no same nutrient is selected more than once, and that particular combinations make sense with the ingredients you choose. If you do happen to make a mistake, the tool will let you know of any inconsistencies in your matrix when you go to analyze the results and simply prompt you to change it. In our example, we're going to choose ruminally undegradable protein, net energy of lactation in megacalories per pound, and ruminally degradable protein. You can edit and or add ingredient names and the nutrient content. This tool already comes with default nutrient contents, but be sure they represent the conditions of your analysis. To help facilitate input of data into your matrix, download the NRC feed table spreadsheet under the supporting documents at the top of the page here. This spreadsheet provides average values of commonly fed ingredients and their nutrient compositions. Another resource available to you is a byproduct feedstuff in dairy cattle, here. This paper defines the ingredients listed in the tool more in depth and provides nutrient analyses. The next step is to edit the ingredient prices in the price input column. Here you can edit the dry matter content, the price, and the unit such as bushels, tons, or hundredweight. Default prices are available to choose from based on monthly price indexes. Lastly, you need to decide if you want to use negative nutrient calculate values in your analysis. Since this tool calculates nutrient values based on market prices of ingredients and their respective composition, it is likely that some nutrients will have negative values. If you want to include negative values in your calculation, uncheck this box. Or if you want to exclude them, Keep it checked, which is the default. With the matrix completed, you are now ready to perform the analysis. Click the Analyze button at the top or the bottom of the table. The calculated nutrient values, the predicted ingredient values, and the actual price appear. The actual price is displayed as a percentage of the predicted value. Actual prices greater than 100 are highlighted in red and indicate overpriced ingredients. Actual prices less than 100 are highlighted in green and indicate underpriced ingredients. In our example, if the actual price as a percent of predicted value is 116 with the shelled corn, it means that the actual price is 116% of the true value. Another way to look at it is to say that the market price is 16% above the ingredient's predicted value. So where we paid $7.92 a ton, we should have paid $6.84 a ton. Let's look at another example. Blood meal. The analysis shows that the actual price is 100, or 100% 100 of the predicted price. The market price equals its true value, so we didn't lose or gain any money. One more. When we scroll down to wet distillers, we see that the actual price is 68, meaning the market price is 68% less than its true value. So we saved $54 a ton, a bargain. Therefore, the lower the number, the greater the bargain. You can see that using this tool can help you make economically optimal decisions for purchasing and using ingredients for your dairy herd's feed rations. You can perform additional analyses with different ingredients and nutrient combinations. Do note that every time a change is made, however, your results will disappear and a recalculation is required. If you want to save or print your results, click the Download Spreadsheet button. 
and the values will be downloaded to your computer as a spreadsheet. You can also use the spreadsheet to enter and edit data and then to upload it back into the online tool. Thanks for using FeedVal 2012 and good luck!